place called Oscars. It's a seafood restaurant on Third Avenue in New York City. And he, um, he was a very grouchy, irritable uh, waiter. Arthur weighed on him and said, Did he live in the garbage can? No, no, it wasn't a pretty nice restaurant. That was the first day I was going to work with Jim. He invited me to Oscars. And that's when he told me about the grouchy guy. And um, so, but, so on the day he told me about me working for him, he said, I'm going to have him live in a pile of trash. But he didn't realize that our theater didn't have trap doors come up to the floor. It was all cement, so there was no way to get down. So he put him in a trash can, which we're telling where it's more practical. The trash can is also awesome the thing boxes. Lots of boxes and stuff. So I'm seated behind there. I sit on an old rusty um, um, folding chair, something like this, except it's all metal. And uh, uh, I lean in a little hospital up and uh, hold him up there. My left hand is in his left hand. And another puppeteer reaches in through the right hand and he's got to keep his head down and be very uncomfortable. But there is a saying in puppetry, if you're comfortable, you're probably doing it wrong. And I'm also going to say, yeah, just monitors. They're just little. They were black and white for years. And on uh, an Oscar's trash can, I uh, they put in color, but they're too big. I said, can I have the black and whites back? Because the color is too important for them. Although Big Bird's tiny little picture is in color, but it's a tube. It's not LEDs or LCDs. So you're actually you have eyeballs on the words. Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't show me where I'm going. Uh, we do have, if I'm desperate, I have to move, 